first of all, I don't know what the exact situation may be or who you're dealing with and under what circumstance. But I'm going to let you know like this, okay? If you say you're dealing with bad friends and you want to focus more on boxing, it's very, very simple, okay? Let go of that emotional energy. You got to learn how to let people go. You know, first of all, you got to ask yourself, what benefit do they have for you? How are they encouraging you? How are they pushing you to be better? How are they distracting you? Is it with women? Is it with drugs? Is it with just hanging out, doing a whole bunch of nothing? Real friends are going to push you to be better. They, they're going to recognize your talent. They're going to recognize what can be. And it's only going to be up to you to choose your friends. See, just like in the Bible, there's a scripture that says, evil communication, it corrupts good manners. Okay? Evil communication. Who are you talking to? Who are you listening to? Who are you around majority of the time? Because that, that same communication, it can corrupt all the positive things that you want to do with yourself. Okay? Now, remember this. If you say that you want to be a boxer, hey, I can't bring the fighter out in you. I can teach you. I can guide you. But that fighter has to be in you. And all I can do is train it up. All I can do is motivate it. But you got to have that fighting spirit. You know, and, and like I said in, the, in one of my other videos, what is your purpose on wanting to box? Why do you want to box? What do you want to get out of it? Because literally, it's, it's life and death involved with boxing. You can be great. You can make yourself. You can, you can, you, you can make your family tree to be more successful. Or God forbid, you can physically die. Or you can, you can emotionally die, mentally die inside that brain. So you got to ask yourself, what is your purpose on what in the box? So yes, the company that, that you keep is going to play a key role. Because if you're around me as a big brother, as a homie, as a friend, and you try to put a cigarette to your mouth, or you try to do a drug in front of me, I'm going to slap that cigarette out your hand, and I might give you a little two-piece in the chest and say, yo, put that stuff down, man. You know? If you're around me, I'm not going to sit up there and allow you to, to drink it. And first and foremost, let me say something. You're going to do what you want to do regardless. Because remember this. You take you with you wherever you go. You can move to another city. You can move to another country. You can move You can move to another planet. But you're always going to be with yourself. So you got to be able to look yourself in that mirror and be honest with yourself. What do you want to do? Now, if you want to make a change and you still feel influenced on, you know, from the other side, from the negative friends... It might be a struggle to get away from that because why? Because your emotions and your mind, you have grown to basically like let that be your reality. Let that be your normal. But it's time to let go. And the biggest way to let go is by simply living your truth. Don't let nobody distract you from what you want to do. For instance, if you say, yo, I got to go to the gym. And then one of your so-called friends say, nah, man, y'all just met this girl. She got another girlfriend. Let's go over there and check them out. That's not your friend. If you're trying to get up and go for a run, and then one of your homies call you at the last minute and say, yo, I got this bag or whatever. Yo, I'm about, to, I'm about to roll up and blaze up. What's up? That's not your friend. That is the enemy, okay? Those are just a couple examples. But long story short, there should be no distractions allowed from your purpose. Why you on your journey? Understand that, okay? So choose your friends wisely. Choose who you communicate with, and recognize. And probably, I don't, I don't know, you know, religion, you know, your religious reasons or whatever you do. But just ask the Most High God, man. Ask Him for discernment. You know, He will show you who's in your life for what reason, what purpose. And when you allow people in your life, always recognize. And be honest with yourself and ask yourself, why are they here? What benefit are they to me? How are they pushing me to be better? Or are they in position to even help me be better? Okay? Uh, I'm going to say this one last thing. A wise man told me a long time ago. He said, when you're around company, make sure that you're the dumbest one. Make sure you're the dumbest one. Don't be smarter than your company. Meaning, get around wisdom. Okay? 
with age should come wisdom, okay? So isolate yourself, stay focused, stay on your purpose, all right? To the next video, Team Me Boxing. However, I will tell you that except for maybe that right, all of a sudden...